Okay, we're going to have a look at electrical components that you need to know. Uh, you need uh, for GCSE physics, you need to be able to identify them, and you need to be able to state what they do in a circuit. So there's a couple of different ways you could use this video. I uh, suppose you could screenshot this and cut and paste it into a Word document or a PowerPoint, and then uh, label what all the different components were. Uh, or you can just pause this video and try and identify them all just now. Uh, so here's what they are. We're going to work on just identifying them to start off with. So on the top left, we have a cell. Then we have a resistor, a fixed resistor. So we'd have a given resistance, for example, something like maybe 10 kilo ohms or 470 ohms, something like that. Uh, then we have a voltmeter, which measures potential difference. We have a variable resistor, an ammeter, pretty easy one that one. Uh, this one here, those two arrows give you a bit of a hint of what is this does. And you'll notice there's some common shapes. There's a lot of rectangles here. They're all usually some type of resistor. So the one down here is a light dependent resistor. So you can see the light hitting it here, a resistor shape. Here, this is a weird one, looks like it's got an ice hockey stick stuck through the middle of it. This is a thermistor. So you can guess what that does if you break this down into the two words that look like they've been super glued together, therm and ister. And it's got the old rectangular shape. Uh, so can you guess what it does? Find out in a minute. We've got a lamp here or a bulb. This one here is a, not a very common one, but it's the symbol for a fuse, which has a certain resistance. And when a too high a current flows through a fuse, it will uh, melt or blow. So it breaks the circuit and stops you damaging the TV or something like that. Uh, this is a funky little symbol here. This is a diode. Uh, we have a play symbol and a kind of wall here. So the current can actually flow in this direction. Uh, so we'll come back to the cell for a minute here. One of these ends is positive and one of them is negative. Can you guess which one is which? It is this one is the positive side and under conventional current, current flows from positive to negative. So my students, I get them to remember that by you start off high school all nice and happy and positive. By the time you've been through the whole of high school, been through all the resistance that it offers, uh, you've gone from a nice, happy, positive year seven to a bitter, negative old six former. So, yeah, nice, happy moral of the story there. So here, the diode uh, allows the current to go in one direction only. So in this case, it would be to the left to right. Here we have a diode, but it's giving off light. It's a light emitting diode. So kind of like um, the flash on your mobile phone is an LED. You also get LED TVs and they usually indicate when electronics are switched on. And the really straightforward one at the bottom here, a switch, sometimes has little circles drawn in it as well. Uh, that is an open switch, a closed one would have a straight line here. So uh, let's have a look at all their functions. As it gets brighter, the um, resistance decreases. So if it gets brighter, the resistance decreases and therefore the current will increase, okay? Uh, so anytime you want to detect how bright something is, uh, yeah, you'd use something like this in a circuit. Uh, thermistor, uh, it changes its resistance as the temperature changes. So as the temperature increases, the resistance decreases. Therefore, the current, if the resistance has gone down, the current will go up. Then we have a lamp, uh, lights up when electrical current flows through it and you often get quite a lot of heat given off by some lamps as well. Um, then we have a fuse which looks like a resistor. There's a lot of common shapes here so anything with a rectangle like so is going to be some form of resistor. And if too high a current flows through a fuse it will melt and stop you damaging your electrics or starting electrical fires. So when a high current flows through it it will melt. So fuses have different values like 3 amp. Uh, a 3 amp fuse would melt if a current of 4 amps goes through. Uh, we have a cool one here, it's a diode. Once again we've got a play symbol and a stop symbol. It allows current to flow in one direction only. So in this case the play symbol allows current to flow in this direction here. 
then we have an LE, uh, sorry, yeah, this line here indicates there's a high resistance in this direction. Okay, so it'd be very difficult to get current to flow in that direction. Okay, then we have um, a, a light emitting diode, kind of like a flash in your mobile phone. Um, it emits light when current goes through it. It's often used in laptops to indicate power is on. So you get little red LEDs and blue LEDs and mobile phones, things like that. Uh, you get LED TVs too. So here we have a switch, and all that does is breaks or completes the circuit, turn the circuit on and off.